Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to Soul Wipes Tarot if you're new here. So I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I have been really busy. I'm currently in the process of moving from my apartment to a different apartment. So I have to find an apartment and I have to pack. And then I got sick for like a week and I was dying there. <laughs> and then I had a, a trip scheduled to Mexico last week. And uh, so I've just been like really busy, but um, I'm really excited to be back and to um, do this reading. I really felt called to do a reading on what, like an urgent message, like something that you need to know. I know it's kind of general, but um, just to give you some insight into your life and what is it that you need to know. Uh, I really hope that it resonates with you and that you find it helpful. If you do, I'd love it if you supported my channel and subscribed and commented and liked my video. Uh, and if you wanted to follow me on Instagram, you can do that at follow your own rhythm. I'll leave the link to that below. So let's get into your piles. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. And for pile one, this is called um, titanium or a kyanite. Um, pile two is transformation or a quartz. So I'm doing this like kind of upside down. And then pile three is pineapple calcite. Okay, so if you need to pause the video to tune into each of the piles, check in with your intuition and see which one resonates with you the most, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and whenever you have chosen your pile, I left the timestamps in the description box below and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile one. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this titanium aura kyanite, this is going to be a reading all about what is it that you need to know or hear right now. So what urgent message does the universe want to deliver to you right now through me, through this reading um, that you need to know or hear? Uh, so we have our first two oracle cards and then we're going to be pulling some more tarot and oracle cards as well to dive deeper into whatever it is that you need to hear. So for your cards... We have nature therapy grounded. Your soul loves to connect and be one with nature. A beautiful healing takes place when you ground and center yourself with the earth. Being in nature has a way to restore what has been lost and brings you back to your center. And then the other one is soul tribe strength. Finding your soul tribe is a blessing that reaps. Whoa. Finding your soul tribe is a blessing that reaps many benefits you're being asked to reach out and explore to find your soul connections they will feel familiar safe and trusted when you meet them send out your intention to connect with your soul tribe and see who comes your way so this is like a very um spiritual message for you uh for one i think that uh, the universe really needs to urgently tell you that you need to get out into nature. Um, if you have been depriving yourself of sunshine, of outdoor time, because maybe you've been working a lot or it's been cold where you are, or you're just like stuck indoors for work or for whatever reason, you're just kind of lazy or just wanting to hang out on the couch and watch TV. The universe really wants you to get out there and get into nature um, because I think it's going to really help you reconnect with your soul, reconnect with um just life you know life in general with the universe with your higher self with your guides and your intuition you know allow you to receive messages on for example what next steps to take in your life we'll pull some cards to see like what this could be regarding but i also think that it has something to do with your soul tribe so if this is something that you have been looking for and searching for and trying to find friends that are not just friends but they're they're deep connections people that are meant to be in your life that are here to serve a purpose here to help you grow help you um, f connect, you know, feel connected, feel like you belong. If that is something that you've been struggling with, then perhaps getting outside would be a good place to start. Maybe you could meet some people on a hike or at a park or somewhere where you're out in nature. Um, and I also think that it's just going to raise your vibration to get outdoors and to be surrounded by peace and beauty and, um, nature <laughs> like a natural environment instead of something man-made and i think really like it's going to help you tap into your deeper self and it's going to open some sort of doorway for you to connect with your soul tribe more to maybe get insights into maybe even how you can meet them where you can meet them what you can do um i'm feeling like you've been go 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 and you've been doing just a lot of things very busy um you haven't really made time for yourself or just to to be outside uh like i said maybe it's just the weather hasn't been permitting that 
but I think you really need to prioritize that like whenever you do have like an extra hour or even 30 minutes and you know it's warm out the sun is shining like like take that chance to go out and even just soak up the sun a little bit I think it's going to really change your energy a lot um so what else does pile wanting to know right now Okay, so we have the Empress. Wow, nourishment. Yeah, this is like totally energy of, of being in nature. The Empress is so abundant. She's um, very in tune with her surroundings. She's very connected to nature, to Mother Earth. She represents Mother Earth. I mean, she represents that divine feminine energy. And um, she just blossoms and blooms and she radiates and she's so magnetic. So this is saying that you are the empress whether you're a guy or a girl doesn't matter you have this very high vibrational beautiful energy that maybe you've been out of touch with and it's something that you really need to connect with um and and i think you can help connect with this empress energy by being out in nature um being in that more peaceful calm serene environment you know finding more tranquility in your space that's going to help you connect to this this higher self of yours, you know, that your, your best highest self, because the Empress, um, and look, she's like sitting on, on Saturn <laughs> and the sun is shining down on her and she's just soaking up the sun and it says nourishment at the bottom. So I just feel that you, and I saw 444 as I was saying that. So I just feel like you need to nourish yourself. Okay. That's like a really big message that's coming through. And um, it's going to really help you attract what it is that you want. And if that is like your soul family, this could be a soulmate as well. So just anyone who belongs in your life, this could be a romantic soulmate or just like platonic. But I think that you being um, just in this, in this very magnetic, high vibrational, peaceful, loving energy by taking time out to yourself you will be able to attract a lot more people into your life yeah we have the nine of pentacles it's very similar to empress energy you'll be able to attract a lot more people into your life a lot more love a lot more abundance um financial abundance wealth um i do see that that's coming for you because then we have the nine of pentacles so i feel another message that like the universe wants you to know is there some sort of um uh, abundance prosperity wealth um just blessings coming your way there's some big blessings coming your way and they do seem to be in a physical form so it, it's like in the form of money or uh, just um like maybe like an upgraded home or a new car or just new things things that you value uh, a new job a new career or if it's not new then just like a, an upgrade or an improvement in some sort of physical area in your life so there is some sort of physical manifestation that is coming into your life of something that you have been wanting um with the empress because the empress is about uh the physical manifestation of the unmanifested right so it's like things coming into form um into fruition into physical form it's taurus energy so and then the nine of pentacles as well so i think you're gonna feel very comfortable very soon very physically comfortable you're gonna feel very safe and comfortable in your home environment in your work environment in like the place that you live maybe within your relationships your friendships your romantic relationship there's gonna be a lot of comfort and love and harmony and nurturance um the empress is the divine feminine so perhaps there's a soulmate that's coming into your life that you're going to be really connecting with um and with the nine of pentacles you're very attractive you're you're in this very high vibrational attractive energy a lot of people are wanting your attention you're very magnetic you're uh, you seem very independent and confident and strong and like you can take care of yourself you have your shit together and uh, this is just very attractive to people. And if you don't feel like you're in that place, then I think this is what the universe wants to tell you is that this is where you're going. But uh, like an easy way to get there is to ground yourself in nature. Like if you are getting lost in your thoughts and getting really stressed out about things or just getting sucked into anxiety or um, worry, depression, overthinking, whatever, you, you need to really just stop, get out of the house, get out of wherever it is that you are go out into nature just go look at a tree go climb uh, a hill i don't know go walk by a lake um go just out outside and just be there and i think you're really going to recenter yourself and reconnect with yourself get rejuvenated and you're going to feel a lot better 
Um, okay, so let's pull from a different deck. This could definitely have to do with a relationship, uh, some sort of a truth about a relationship that you are also going to find out. So what else does pile, let's do this one. What else does pile one need to know? What urgent message does pile one need to know right now? What does pile one need to know? What does pile one need to know right now? The fool. Yeah. You need to get out of your comfort zone right now. The universe is asking you urgently, like, get out of your comfort zone. We have the Empress here. This is Taurus energy, and Taurus energy is very... And look, we have comfort, Nine of Pentacles. So you're very comfortable right now. Um, you feel good, right? Like, it's like things... Like, you have your little routine down. You have whatever it is that you're doing is pretty stable. You know, you have stability and security in your life. And I'm just feeling like you're getting almost too comfortable with your everyday patterns and routines and you need to change things up a little bit to change up your energy get outside meet new people explore different connections um go be free be more of a free spirit and get out there and explore life and enjoy and take risks and take a leap of faith into the unknown and trust that the universe has you and it's just this very nomadic and free spirited uh risk-taking adventurous uh energy that you need to get into to get out of your your comfort zone um with the fool you know it just kind of like just going and trust trusting your intuition trusting yourself we have justice again yeah we did have that at the bottom so um i think that there is this has to do with a relationship or a partnership it could be a business partnership as well um but it could be romantic and we have the sun so there is some sort of sun go outside in the sun <laughs> yeah spend some time in the sun with your partner uh if you're not if if you're in a relationship go outside and and maybe traveling as well is a big thing like you need to travel more um to create more balance in your life but justice is about balance and and maintaining harmony and peace and justice right like fairness like what you give you get back um you, you get what you deserve right so like whatever energy you put out there is what you're gonna get back you reap what you sow and um so there maybe there's some news that is going to be coming in uh that's going to bring a truth to you that you have been wondering about or questioning um so there's some sort of truth and clarity that's going to bring a lot of balance and uh justice right give justice into your life you're finally going to be like okay cool like i've been wondering about that and now i have it um but i do see with like soul tribe here and then justice this could be a soulmate this has to do with a soulmate um a strong uh, romantic it seems like soulmate energy whether that they're coming into your life or they're already in your life is just really being highlighted here and there's a lot of happiness to be had in this relationship with this person. This is your ultimate happiness. Um, this is going to revitalize you. And really, you're going to gain a lot of empowerment from this connection. A lot of energy, a lot of happiness. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. But it requires that you do take a leap of faith with the fool. Like, you're going to have to trust in this and just kind of go into the unknown without knowing exactly where you're going and it might require like a death process a release and a transformation uh, a rebirth of some sort so you're gonna have to face a lot of your fears and address those things but it is leading to like a committed long-term relationship a contract a marriage um something serious that's long term and it's something that you've been waiting for i feel and something that's going to bring a lot of balance into your life and it's like justice you know it's it's like you maybe you felt like a victim or like oh you haven't been getting what you want like the universe forgot about you you've been abandoned and it's kind of saying like nope it, this big manifestation that you have been working on is coming into your life it's showing up you're in the perfect energy to receive it with like being really magnetic and just like abundant like in very abundant energy and uh you're going to have your justice and you're going to have your ultimate happiness. There's a lot of healing here as well. Um, and again, like I think the sun is healing for you. Like you need to be out there in the sun. That's going to heal you in some way. And um, this is Libra, Leo and Aries and Aquarius energy. And then we have Taurus as well. But yeah, like don't be afraid to shine bright. Don't be afraid to stand out. And 
there's some sort of like happiness. Oh my God, the lovers, I'm telling you. Look, we have five major arcanas here. We have six tarot cards and all, and out of them, five are majors. So I feel like this is a big, big, huge, like relationship, soulmate energy that is coming into your life. And I just want to know, like, why the universe wants you to know this urgently? Like, why, 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 what's the urgency with, with you knowing this? Why does Pile One need to urgently know this? That their soulmate is about their soulmate. What? Why do they need to know this? The moon. Oh my god! Because I don't know. There's some sort of fear. There's some sort of fear that that's holding you back. Maybe because there's like a lot of unknowns. Uh, you you're not seeing the whole truth. You're not seeing clearly. There's a lot of confusion, haziness. Um, you're not seeing the whole picture. You're only seeing from your projections maybe your fears um it's it's the moon it's nighttime it's dark like you're not seeing things clearly and then look we have the sun so like i feel that you will see something really clearly in this relationship um whether this person's already in your life or not in your life yet there is some sort of fears that are impacting this this connection and it's impacting maybe the ability for it to move forward. Um, why is the moon here? What, why else is this an urgent message for Pile 1? Tell me more. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is something about like communication, taking action, um, being impulsive, not thinking things through. But... I mean, the Knight of Swords, that is, like, very clear-headed. Like, like you see clearly, and then you take action. Um, communicating. Communicating some. Maybe communicating your feelings or your, your fears, something like that. Someone's going to communicate that to you. Maybe in this relationship, like, there's been some hidden things. There's been some secrets, some unknowns. Um, things that have been confusing for you, right? And maybe you've been, like, getting in your head a lot. And then, and then you're getting lost in fear and like, um, your, your deeper trauma and your wounds and all of that is being triggered. Um, and so there's like some clarity and communication that's coming through. It's coming in fast. Someone's coming in really quickly to communicate things with you. And I think it's going to give you a lot of clarity. You're going to feel a lot of fairness and justice and, um, you're going to understand what, what has been happening maybe behind the scenes, underneath the surface. And I guess like maybe have patience and trust would be the message and to remain in this high vibrational Empress and Nine of Pentacles energy so that you can receive this and you can be your best self when you receive this because you're not trying to be in like your lower self where you're insecure and projecting and, you know, worrying and all of that. You don't, you're not trying to be in that energy. And this is how you're going to attract this soul tribe, this soul relationship, this soul connection. Now, this if this isn't like a romantic thing, then this could be like a soul mate of some sort. You know, a soul friend, a soul family member, um, just a, some part of your soul tribe. And yeah, so the lovers. I mean, this person, it, you know, if, if we are speaking like of a romantic relationship, like this person is definitely your soul mate. This person is your like someone that is meant to be in your life, like your, like marriage, you know, long-term potential here. And, um, it says there's a divine union here. There's a divine union that is going to happen. And you need to know this because I think you're letting a lot of your fears and the uncertainty of this situation and all of the unknowns maybe like get in your way. And, um, maybe it's blocking your intuition too. Like it's, it's blocking things and, uh, maybe it's making you be like aggressive too with the Knight of Swords. Just like have like more aggressive communication, and it's not coming from a place of love and like understanding, but it's coming more from like attacking and aggression, right? Uh, so let me just quickly see like what you need to do with that. <laughs> So what does Pile One need to do with this Moon and Knight of Swords energy? The Ace of Wands. It's I feel like just um, follow your passion, 
take a risk. Yeah, just like the fool. It's like, allow this new beginning to happen. If it feels good, if it feels passionate, if it's exciting, if it brings excitement to you, then it's something that, yeah, there, it's like take action towards this. I feel like what you need to do is page of cups. Yeah, just like be be like more curious about this and not so much in this like in your head and in, in your logic and so much I don't know, I just feel like that's creating some sort of conflict here. So you need to be in that passionate energy where you want this new beginning, like following your heart, your soul, driven by your soul. Because that's like the wands energy, fire, soul, right? Um, the chemistry between you guys. Just or even like if you don't even know this person yet, just like following your passion and being in that very attractive magnetic energy. And also like a, a very loving and maybe there's like an apology coming here. Maybe there was some sort of harsh words exchange that triggered a lot of fears. There's a new passionate beginning here and there's an apology and a, a like a heart to heart conversation is what I'm seeing here. Um, okay, so that's all we're getting for that. Let's see what else you need to know right now. What else does pile one need to know right now? What's an what urgent message do would you like? To tell them. You're definitely attracting some sort of a soulmate. If you haven't already, you're definitely attracting. You're in the energy to attract. So I think one of the things is like, just trust that. Like, just know that. Like there's, there's your soul tribe. You're about to meet your soul tribe or at least a member of your soul tribe. And you need to ground yourself and you need to get out of your head. And focus more on self-care. And um, so we have, I am love. I give love freely. I receive love constantly. Yeah, just knowing that you are love. Getting into, again, like that loving vibration, not fear. So opposite of love is fear. So not being fearful and worrying and anxious, like trying to just trust in this, love your partner, love the person, love the process, love yourself, love the universe, love everything, love nature, you know, love, 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 love. <laughs> and I think just being in that lo loving energy is what's going to attract like all of the shifts that you need to happen in order to have this beautiful divine union with your soulmate. Um, we also have reflect on your strength. We forget how strong we are until we look back at all we've overcome. You are resilient. Your growth is forever. Yeah, just never forget that you are a strong person and you've you've accomplished so many things in your life. You've overcome so many things in your life. And um, I think maybe that's how you can learn to love yourself more is by reflecting on all of your strengths and amazing qualities and genuinely giving yourself some credit and acknowledgement for how amazing you are and how strong you are. And then we have unstoppable. You are limitless. You can handle anything. Don't underestimate yourself. You have many unique talents. The universe is really trying to remind you of how amazing you are. Um, like, I don't know if you've been getting down on yourself or like kind of not believing in yourself lately or not feeling like this empress, not feeling like this high vibrational nine of pentacles, like I'm amazing, independent, self-sufficient, uh, and you know, strong, confident person. Like maybe you've lost touch with that part of you. And that's why I think the universe really wants you to go out into nature because then you can regain your strength there. Maybe you have a strong connection with nature or maybe you need to connect with your friends. Like you already maybe have met members of your soul tribe and your soulmates and you need to really hang out with them and connect with them. Maybe go out for a hike or go hang out at a park. I think it would really help rejuvenate you. And yeah, the universe just wants to remind you that you need to know that you need to feel that that you are unstoppable and just don't underestimate yourself. Um, you're very unique. You have a lot of talents. You're amazing. And even though like sometimes maybe you do get triggered and you do tend to, I don't know, maybe get like really aggressive or logical or overthink things and you get impulsive and then you make rash decisions and you you know it doesn't end well you you need to remember that 
like you're only human and it's okay and forgive yourself you know this page of cups is about apologies as well maybe just like for apologize to yourself and forgive yourself and just keep following the passion in your heart and soul just don't stop <laughs> don't let your fears hold you back and uh gratitude is at the bottom so just like be grateful and let's just see a message from the universe what does the universe want to tell you what does the universe want to tell pile one? What do you want to tell pile one? Okay, so we have two, two, two. It is safe to move on. Um, Okay, so we're going to clarify it is safe to release. Okay, maybe that's the clarification. Release the past so you can make room for the amazing new things trying to come in. There's something from your past. I'm telling you, with this moon and knight of swords energy, there's something here that's blocking you, that's getting in your way from moving on from a situation or a past thing, a person, and moving forward towards success and victory and having this beautiful, beautiful justice and happiness and love and soulmate and all of it. You're, you're being asked to start over the brand new beginning with the full. Take a leap of faith and leaving something in the past behind. And that could very well be your own inner conflicts, your own inner traumas and pain and like blocks that are holding you back from being your best self like from being unstoppable so maybe it's you that's holding you back or maybe it's like a situation or whatever you need to reflect on that for yourself i will i will clarify let's just see <laughs> um it is safe to move on what is pile one moving on from what do you want pile one to move on from We have the two of wands and the lovers. So maybe it's a relationship um, that you need to move on from. You know, that could be a thing with the lovers here. Although I don't really see any negative energy here. So I almost think that because the two to two also came out, which this is the, the number of love and partnerships, romance, um, companionship, peace, balance, intuition, um, this is the divine feminine. So this, again, it's the empress energy. So I just feel like there is some sort of love in the air. There's some sort of like a, a relationship here that is being highlighted. And um, I don't necessarily feel like you're moving on from the relationship because there's so many beautiful soulmate cards here and like just beautiful energy with, with that. So I, I don't, I'm not sensing that you're moving on from a relationship. I think you're moving on maybe from conflict in a relationship, you know, because the five of wands at the bottom, some sort of conflict that happened. And maybe there is some sort of stagnancy here in this connection. Um, or maybe you're trying to pull in a soul soulmate. If you're not already with this person, like you're trying to pull in some sort of a soulmate or, whether platonic or romantic whatever you're trying to pull that in but you're not able to because you're you're still holding on to something from the past so it's like it's safe to move on so that you can have this new beginning in this beautiful relationship which is a divine union you know with the soulmate the lovers literally came out twice there's gemini energy so i don't know but there's um it's like you're 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 right now contemplating your future like how do i want to move forward uh and and so the contemplate it and make your decision but like now move forward towards love with the lovers like really bring love into your life into this situation that's like a really strong one so um can i just have one more clarifier on what is uh pile one moving on from what is this thing that they have to release from the past we have justice truth And, and the nine of wands fear. Okay, it definitely has to do with a relationship. Something to do with a relationship. Um, whether it's like an actual person in a relationship or the idea of a relationship or the desire for a relationship, something like that. But it's need, you need justice in this relationship. You need, like, you will receive the truth. But I feel like there is some fear that's holding you back. Like, there's some sort of fear that's affecting this connection from 
being its highest like what it can be like being its most beautiful expression the highest potential that it can be there's something there's fear there's fear blocking it and you need the truth like there's some truth that needs to be uncovered because we have the moon so that's like a lot of hidden like a lot of secrets there is going to be some sort of communication about a truth um about this connection or, or regarding your soulmate and uh it's it's been keeping you it's been like a battle that you've been fighting it's made you feel like a wounded warrior maybe it is a wound from your past and it's created a lot of fear maybe you project a lot of your fears uh a lot of your fears get triggered and there's going to be justice here there's going to be ultimate happiness here with the ten of cups and justice there's going to be a beautiful happy loving relationship um with a lot of commitment and stability and um just beautiful connection you know like a happy ending but there's just a lot of fears that you have to work through and and bring love yeah like again bring love into this situation instead of fear just like really really focus on that and i think that's how you get into this like higher vibrational empress energy yeah so that is what you need to know that's your urgent message pile one i really hope that that was helpful and it resonated if it did please like comment and subscribe to my channel your support means everything to me and um i wish you all the best and i hope to see you in my next video bye hi pile two welcome to your reading so if you chose this transformation or a quartz this is going to be a reading all about what urgent message do you need to hear right now or do you need to know right now that the universe your spirit guides want to tell you that you need to know <laughs> right now uh this is a timeless reading so whenever you're watching this is when it's meant for you and so we have our first two oracle cards and then we'll be pulling some more tarot and oracle to dive deeper into this situation so we have childhood wound and awakening so childhood wound says retrieve your inner child is looking to heal so you can move on by understanding the situation in a new light Going within to heal requires self-love and compassion. Gaining perspective through energy work or therapy can be very helpful to access tools to um, empower your inner child. And then we have awakening, expansion. You may, you have been receiving messages that it's time for your soul to expand beyond the 3D vision. You're an old soul that is here to do many great things. You have come to realize this through doing the hard work and merging with your higher self. There's no going back, so enjoy this new way of being by having acceptance and inner peace moving forward. So beautiful. So it seems to me that you're going through a transformation. And I think a lot of your childhood wounds may be getting triggered lately, um, just maybe a little bit more than normal. Uh, maybe you're in some sort of a situation with uh, work or, you know, usually like new situations trigger us in those kinds of ways, like a new relationship, a new job, a new place where you live, a new friend, like whatever, something new could be happening in your life uh, or a change, some sort of a change, you know, um, where some of your, your childhood wounds are getting triggered and you're really being called to look at them and and because this is your opportunity like this is when they're being being triggered so this is the time that you can heal them when you're comfortable and when you're everything's like figured out in your life and you're in your little routine and things are just going great you know not not a lot of there's not a lot of problems everything's going good uh and so you can't really heal what you don't know is there <laughs> so if if right now you're going through a time when a lot of these wounds are getting triggered then um i think it's it's a, a call for you to address them and to work through them and uh move on from these wounds you know to and by looking at at this situation uh in a new light so looking at either yourself in a new light or not looking at life or your situation or your relationship or whatever it is that you're dealing with yourself through the eyes of pain so now looking at through the lens of, of hurt and pain and trauma and insecurity, but looking with an, a more awakened mindset, seeing the higher truth of the situation and who you are and what you're capable of. Um, because it's time for you to expand. You're, you're, the universe, your spirit guides, your higher self, your soul, it wants you to know that there's something within yourself that is requiring your attention and more self-love and self-compassion so that you can expand to the next level because you are an, a more you're an old soul and you're um meant to do 
you're I think I, I'm getting like star seed vibes and if not that then light worker healer um or just one of the like a chosen one you know like a you're meant to be here on this earth to help raise the consciousness of humanity and you do that through raising your own consciousness so if you are on this journey of transformation and awakening and just evolving your soul and you're conscious of this and let's say you are going through a spiritual awakening right now um or you have already gone through that then that just means that you are here for a, a higher purpose you have a higher mission and so it's almost more important for you to really work through these childhood issues because they're really not allowing you to get to that place that you need to be on a soul level to do the mission to fulfill the mission that you have here on earth and you chose the transformation or accord so i mean you are probably you know i mean that's a lot of scorpio energy you don't have to be just a scorpio but uh pluto you know it's, it's about transformation and so i think that you naturally are drawn to that energy and uh, butterflies might also be a thing for you but yeah so i feel like you need to, um, you're being called to step into that next level of yourself, the next version of yourself. And you're not able to go there as long as you have these things holding you back. So it's really time to address this, whatever that means, if you need to go to a therapist or just do a lot of uh, ref like own self therapy through whatever means. Um, doing that, you know, meditation, journaling, hypnotherapy, I don't know, whatever. Uh, because you have you're here like your soul is here to do many great things and uh, you need to merge with your higher self definitely so this is definitely I could see why this would be an urgent message because the world needs this the you know humanity needs this we need you we need you to sh shed your shine your light we need you to be awakened and in your in your highest most conscious version you need to be your most conscious version so that you can spread that to other people and that so that you're not out in the world projecting your own stuff onto people but that you're you're um the example uh i know that's a big mission and it seems maybe overwhelming don't let it overwhelm you you know take it step by step and do what you can but it's just it is time to do it it is time to address these things so what else does pile two need to know what urgent message do you have for pile two We have the Four of Wands, Celebration, and the Queen of Wands, Charisma. So you are a very attractive person. You have a lot of power. You definitely have a lot of attractive energy. You're able to manifest really easily. Um, with the Queen of Wands coming out, I wouldn't um, doubt that you are a spiritual person or you're into you know obviously tarot you're here watching tarot reading but just like more metaphysical things and spiritual things and the occult and uh just just witchy stuff even you know <laughs> so i just feel like you have just this very mysterious energy about you um very charismatic and personable charming uh friendly and people want to talk to you you're very attractive okay you attract like your energy is attractive physically you might be just really beautiful as well and uh, people are drawn to you and with the four of wands we have this celebration energy so i just feel like you have this energy this potential that if if you did work through some of these issues that you have you know wo these wounds you know from childhood if you did work through that then this is like where you're going you're going into this celebration four of wands energy this is also a twin flame card uh 11 11 soulmate celebration marriage so perhaps you do have a twin flame that you need to that you would be attracting once you do that like you would be attracting your soulmate or your twin flame so that you guys together can change the world or raise the consciousness of humanity or perhaps you're already with this person and it would just really take you guys to the next level this is something that you guys need to work through um but you have you have um you need to keep embracing your you need to be confident in yourself right you need to be confident in yourself you need to believe in yourself you need to stand up for yourself and follow your passion like this is very passionate energy and happiness and celebration and uh so maybe you do have like a passion that you need to explore like a passion project or a business or something that 
you are really excited about and makes you come to life, that would be an urgent message that you need to go to that direction. So if, if you're in a situation where you're feeling bored and it's dull and it's mundane and it's draining your energy and bringing you down, that's an indicator that that's not a path for you and you need to really follow your passion and that fire and, and just whatever it is that excites you and brings you to life. Those are the things that are meant for you in whatever area, professionally, romantically, like just anything. Oh yeah, and then we have the King of Pentacles. So this this is like counterpart energy. So this is definitely like to do with a partnership. And you have somebody, like King of Pentacles is about security. And so this could be your energy or another person's energy, but this is about gaining financial stability and security. This is a masculine energy, just somebody who's very stable, abundant financially, materially, um, is a leader or some sort of like, um, an authority figure of some sort there this is Taurus energy so they just have a lot of they have a lot of success material success and then there's this feminine energy with the queen of wands it's just very attractive physically and um and then there's marriage and celebration so I don't know this could be like your relationship or somebody that's coming into your life um so definitely so oh yeah star at the bottom some sort of soulmate um pile one had a similar message as well so we have the star with inspiration so again like you I think you have the potential to really inspire the world inspire other people maybe online with the star being Aquarius energy so maybe you have more progressive ideas new ideas new ways of thinking uh maybe you're more like a rebel you don't think like other people you don't like conventions and it could be that the masculine here like let's say that's your partner that they are more conventional and traditional and stable so that you can be more free-spirited and explore your passions while while your partner makes sure that like the physical things are taken care of and the bills are paid you know so maybe that's your dynamic and that's what helps you guys accomplish all of these things but there's definitely um like a wish fulfillment here and um Maybe you, like a star, yeah, like a star seed. Like you could be a star seed, and you have just this this inspiration that comes from your passions, like from within, and it it, it wakes you up, it brings you to life, and you just need to share this with the world, um, and that's what you're being called to do. Okay, so this is a big message for you. This has to do with your life purpose. You're being called to share whatever inspiration that you have with other people and um listen to that you know maybe you do get a lot of inspiration from the stars or looking up at the night sky or the moon um or during the night like nighttime um maybe you're also a really good manifester and like visualization is a big thing for you but the stars about hope so so i think you're a very optimistic person very hopeful about our world and what it could be and that's 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 the light that we need in the world you know we don't need um the negativity and we don't need the skepticism like we need people who believe that change is possible and it seems like you are all about transformation so you have definitely witnessed within yourself that you're able to transform so if you know that you can transform you know also that it's capable for other people and so you believe in people you believe in the world you believe in humanity like you just seem like an optimist and then you have this partner who's just more grounded who maybe brings you back down to earth maybe you are just like all up in the the uh, <laughs> um the ethers and you're just like oh la 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 like you're visualizing this perfect world and maybe sometimes you get lost in that um and then your partner or whoever this is that's a more stable figure in your life it doesn't have to be a man it can be a woman but it's just somebody who's a little bit more stable than you sort of like brings you back down to earth and is like hey uh how do we do get this done like how do we physically and practically make this work you know let's be real here don't just get lost in your little imagination, which is fine. Like we, you're dreaming, but then also like we need to do. And um, those energies combined are really going to help create something. And if this is not a person that you already have in your life, then this is what's coming. Like you're going to have this, this beautiful partner who is going to balance you out just in a perfect way. I'm sensing strongly that you are this Queen of Wands energy, this very passionate energy fiery but you can reverse the roles if you need to and then this other person is just a, a definitely a more like grounded traditional um more practical person like down to earth <laughs> uh which which is good and yeah so let's see what else the universe wants you to know what urgent message do you have for pile two What other message do you have for pile two? What 
We have Justice, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Cups coming out, um, this is definitely healer energy. So you could be a healer. You could have healing powers, maybe like a counselor, life coach, energy worker. Um, just somebody who's very intuitive, very connected to their emotions, very in tune, psychic even, and a really good listener and just really has the ability to help others heal. Like you're, you have that power coming through here. And, and I don't know if like the universe is telling you this because you need to be reminded of this or you need a kick in the ass to actually like go pursue this, whatever this is for you. But, um, I just feel like that's something that you need to get in touch with is like this this more psychic, intuitive, spiritual, connected to spirit type of energy and very intuitive, you know, following your intuition, more guided by your heart and your intuition. And you're just naturally like you have this healing energy to you. So you can do a lot with that to help the world. And with the three of pentacles, it's like you're being called to work with people like work alongside people, um, even lead people and set the example and collaborate and expand and get out there. Yeah. Awakening expansion. So maybe expanding your spiritual gifts, um, or you need to discover your spiritual gifts. You do have some and you need to like dive deeper into that and see what they are and then share it with the world physically, like practically share it with the world. Uh, justice, maybe like creating a business around this because this is about business partnerships and contracts. So there might be some sort of a, a contract that you sign um, or something that you commit to. Um, justice, this is also Libra energy. It's about social awareness and doing like good for the world. So this could be involved with that. Uh, also could be re with regards to your relationship or your marriage. Um, yeah, like some sort of a partnership to where this um partnership is going to help you do this you know it's going to bring balance more balance into your life so working a lot working with your partner or getting into a business partnership with someone or if you're not with this person yet then when they do come into your life like they're going to help you really take your life to the next level um, yeah, because there's this new love here, this new beginning in love, the Ace of Cups, new offer in love. So there could be like love on the horizon. If, if it's not already in your life and there's new love coming in and this is going to really like catapult your life and take you to the next level. Um, yeah, I, I do want to know what the childhood wound is. So if, yeah, let's just clarify. Can you clarify what this childhood wound is that Pile 2 needs to work through? We have the Eight of Wands. What is this childhood wound? Regarding the waiting until. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Obviously, it's like specific to you and like if this doesn't resonate, then just stick with what you know to be your own blocks and like wounding or whatever uh i mean we have so many so but the the one that's coming out here is it's like reaching for the stars going after your dreams putting things into actual practical action so somehow your childhood wound is impacting your ability to reach for the stars and to go after your dreams and to genuinely dedicate the time and effort that it takes the mundanity, like the mundane aspect of this to actually do it, um, to get to that ultimate 10 of pentacles place, like where you have your wealth, you have your abundance, you have your business, you have everything built and you're, you're accomplished and you're successful and financially free. Right. And you have your family, you have your house, you have your luxuries. It's luxury. It's this long term achievement. So in order to get there, it's like you have to be the Knight of Pentacles. And this takes slow growth. It's a very slow growth. And it's you have to like do the work every day, even if it's boring, even if it sucks, even if you don't like it. 
And I think that could be, oh my God, yeah, it makes sense. Like, this could be really hard for you because you're a very passionate person and you want things now. Like, it's that fire energy. Like, I have an idea and I want it now. And then when you don't get it right away and you have to actually, like, wait a year and put in the work every day, it's like you, maybe you give up or maybe you're like you lose interest. You're like, oh, this isn't passion anymore. I don't feel alive anymore. This is getting boring. I'm done. And you start over and then you start over and then it's like you have that little energy that drives you and then you hit a standstill again. So perhaps that's like a pattern that you have, you know, where you get you can't stick to something like discipline is like a hard thing for you and sticking to something and this is why i think your partner or whoever this like more stable person is in your life will help you because either you'll see through their example of how they do it and like how how they have built their own wealth through consistent diligent effort and how they've become successful and you you use them as an example and as an inspiration right you look up to them as the star as an inspiration that um, wow, okay, th that's what I have to do, and I will get to my ultimate, like, um, goal. Uh, because I do think that you're a very, you're a dreamer, and you're a very goal-oriented person, and I think, like, with the Seven of Cups, this is a couple things, but you definitely visualize a lot, you daydream a lot, you have big dreams, you, you have these visions for the future, for your future. You're a dreamer, you look up to the sky and to the stars, and you're like, what can I have, what can I do? But I think when it comes to actually implementing it and putting it into practice, um, I think that's where maybe uh, there's some blockages around that. And that's something that you have to work through. I also think that you definitely do have a lot of spiritual gifts with the Seven of Cups. You have a lot of them. And maybe that's maybe it's hard for you to pinpoint like what exactly it is that you want to do or in what way you want to share your gifts or in what way you want to share your light because you have so many things that you're good at and um, so many gifts that you have that you, you don't really know how to just choose one. And so that could be another block as well. But yeah, so that's for you to just kind of ponder, I guess, and to think about. And um, somehow it has to do with, like, that needs to be healed. That's somehow impacting your success. So this does seem to be more about, like, your success and your life purpose and your mission here. And, like, doing something with regards to that, to, like, changing you know, making an impact in the world. And um, and the, the only way you can do that is by obviously doing the transformation within yourself. So let's see what else. What else is pile to need to know right now? Oh my God. We literally have lead by example. Um, and that's what I was saying with this more secure person is like they they show you by example like how it's done and then you follow them. But also I think I mentioned in the beginning that you um, through your like energy, your motivating, ins inspiring, beautiful energy, you you are the light and you some you through your example inspire other people to be the light as well. So that could be like a way that you impact the world. So we have lead by example. Don't react to how others have treated you. Choose who you want to be in your world will transform. So be in charge of your energy. And then we have make an adjustment. Pay attention to how you start and end your days. Create a healthy routine that inspires and balances you. Yeah, so I think this is where the routine comes in. Perhaps it's something that you struggle with, like having routines because you're like, I just want to be free and I just want to live my life. And it's boring to have like a certain way of doing things. But I think it would be really helpful for you to establish some sort of a routine and maybe that could be like every morning you journal, you know, and you retrieve these childhood memories and wounds that you have or or you set up a therapy session once a week, every Tuesday morning. Like somehow building more routine in your day to day is going to help you become more structured and organized and to get to that, like get to your goals. But because it like. I can relate to that energy, that fire energy where you wake up in the morning and you're like, I just want to go with the flow. I just want to kind of do what I want, what I feel like doing, whatever my intuition and my soul calls me to do. And that's all good. Like, I think going with the flow like that is very effective because then you're genuinely doing things that your soul wants to do in that moment. And then the best, and you get the most inspiration in those moments because you're feeling, you're connected to the energy. However, 
Um, you can get lost in that energy and if you don't have some sort of a structure and routine then maybe you just never do those things because they are a little bit more boring like you have to exercise like you have to meditate you have to journal you have to I don't know go out into nature like these are self-care things that you have to do whether or not you want to do them today like they're essential you have to take a shower like you have to eat you know so maybe like those important things that will help you build your life and take it to the next level make a routine for that every like every morning i'm going to work on my business or i'm going to learn read this book because i need to learn this new skill i need to become a good life coach so i'm gonna read a chapter from how to become a good life coach book every morning for an hour (laughs) i don't know you know like doing those mundane things where like i have to learn this new skill i have to learn how to read tarot so i'm gonna every morning or every night whatever spend an hour doing that so really be practical about these big dreams that you have so that they can come true so that you can get to that ultimate place of having having your abundance having your stability and also inspiring other people I just really strongly feel that that's like something that you want to do. Um, And then look, we have trust the weight. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Embrace the uncertainty. When nothing is certain, anything is possible. You are transforming. And I think this is also the weight with getting to your ultimate goal, getting to your end destination. Like you have a goal. You want to have make this amount of money. You want to change the world in this way. You want to do this for a profession. You want to be this kind of person. You want to have this many things or these kinds of things. This kind of relationship, whatever. Um, and it takes time to get there. You know, it takes, it's like, there's a transformation process. Like you have to work your way to get there. And in the meantime, you might get discouraged and you might get confused and you might lose hope and you might lose faith and you might lose energy and motivation. But the waiting process is, is where a lot of those, um, a lot of growth happens, you know, that's where you learn to surrender. That's where you learn to trust. That's where you learn patience. That's where you learn all of those essential things that you couldn't otherwise learn if you got what you wanted when you wanted. Um, and then the star card being here at the bottom just really is in, is uh, in like um, encouraging that you stay hopeful about your path. Like you will have your success. You will get there. You just need to be a little bit more grounded and practical about it so that you can actually get there um and stay inspired yeah and and like don't get too stuck in the routine to where now you're bored like obviously still go with the flow and follow your intuition your soul but make time for that but create a a time every morning or every night or both where you are doing those more practical things that that you need to get done in order to make this happen okay let's see what else let's get some final cards messages from the universe what do you want pile two to know what message do you have for pile two what do they need to know what's an urgent message that you have for them So we have pay attention to signs and synchronicities. It's how I communicate with you and send you guidance. So if you are confused on this path and you need some guidance on which one of your gifts to choose or what path to take or how to move forward or what what is your childhood wound, what you need to heal, how can you heal it? Um, Whatever it is that you, you are seeking guidance on, ask the universe and then pay attention to signs and synchronicities around you and the universe is gonna tell you what to do. You know, trust your intuition, like, Trust the signs. Oh my gosh. Focus on your career. So yeah, I was feeling very strongly that that this does have something to do with your career, your life purpose, um, what you're meant to do in this lifetime. So just like you're being asked to focus on that right now. Like that's your main focus. It's like get this shit together and get it done. Um, And then we also have it may seem bad on the surface, but on a soul level, it is all unfolding perfectly. So I think that's just a really important message that you need to hear because it may seem like a shit show on the surface. It may seem hard. It may seem like nothing's moving, like it's stagnant, like there's drama, like there's conflict, like there's, um, like it's not, maybe even like if it's not meant for you, like, oh, nothing's working out. This isn't meant for me, you know? And so on a, on a human level, like to our human eyes, it just seems like this, this isn't for me. Like this sucks. Like this is horrible. How could this happen? You know, nothing's moving, whatever. And, um, but on a soul level, like these are all the stages that you need to go through. This is the process. You need to go through this because there are certain things that you need to learn that you need to grow into in order to expand, you know? 
And so just don't get caught up on like your human interpretation of bad because on a soul level, it's not bad. It's it's where you need, it's divine order. It's part of divine order like and divine timing. Like this is where you need to be. Um, and then in order to know if this is where you're meant to be or if this is what you're meant to do, just know that if it strongly resonates with you, then it's meant for you. If it's not resonating on that deep soul level, which you seem to be really connected with, then it's not for you. But if it is resonating, but nothing's happening, then that's where you know that there's a reason for the stagnancy. Okay, so that is your message pile two. I really hope that uh, that was helpful and that it resonated with you. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I really appreciate your support and your love. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this pineapple calcite, this is going to be your reading. Um, and today we're getting some urgent messages from the universe, from your spirit guides, from your soul, higher self, uh, that you need to know are here right now, urgently. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this is when it's meant for you. And so we have our first two oracle cards here, and then we'll be pulling some more tarot and oracle cards to dive deeper into the situation. So we have spirit guidance. There you go. So literally, spirit is guiding you. Co-creation. Um, your spirit guides and guardians are here to assist and to help you evolve into your authentic self. The time is now to see yourself as your spiritual team see you. They ask that you remove all limiting thoughts and open yourself up to them. Meditation and asking for signs are a great way to deepen your connection. And then we have it's not personal, projection. Many times others project their own pain onto you. The situation is not personal, but rather an opportunity for compassion for yourself and the other person involved. Stop taking the blame by automatically thinking it's your fault. Have discernment of what you own, but also what isn't your problem. Okay, so this seems more specific. Like, I feel like you're going through a specific situation right now where perhaps projection is a big part of what's creating problems, uh, you know, perhaps between you and another person. And it's a, just a reminder with this regarding this specific situation that it's not personal. This has nothing to do with you. This is like somebody else. You have to remember that somebody else is projecting their own pain onto you. So this isn't like a measure of your self-worth or how much they love you or like you or how likable you are or even who you are. This is um, coming from their own belief system, their own past, their own trauma, their own viewpoints, whatever, triggers, fears, and this is just something that they're projecting onto you. So just don't take it personal. And also remember that you could also be projecting onto this person. So whatever it is that you think this person is doing wrong, or um, if you do have some conflict with someone and you're really uh, taking it personally and it's hurting you and it's causing you pain, to remember that is this really true? Is this person really causing you pain? Is this person really being an asshole? Or are you taking it that way because of your own shit that you need to deal with? You know, that you're, you're, that's being triggered within you. Your fears are being triggered within you that you're now projecting onto this person, assuming that they're hurting you, but really it's all coming from you. Again, like looking through that negative lens, looking through the lens of pain instead of truth, a higher truth. And so I feel that spirit is really here trying to guide you through the situation uh, so that you see this clearly and not from that place of pain and that you don't blame yourself either. Like, you know, we all make mistakes and we all project, but to not blame yourself for everything that you do and to be like, oh my God, here I go projecting again, here I go. Like that you don't want to over um criticize yourself and take responsibility i mean take responsibility but like blame yourself because sometimes it isn't you sometimes it the other person did genuinely do something shitty uh so recognizing where you contributed to the conflict and recognizing where the other person contributed to the conflict and then recognizing where both of you are projecting and could be projecting and so trying to rise above it and seeing it from a higher perspective is what you're being called to do right now um yeah and so spirit is sending you guidance right now. So you need to really tune in and look for signs and synchronicities and and just things all around you, following your intuition, at how to deal with the situation and how to move forward in this effectively. Okay, so what else does pile three need to know right now? What urgent message 
And if this isn't regarding a specific person or situation, it could just be general where you have a tendency to project and take things personal. So you maybe generally tend to get triggered a lot by random people, random things, you know, and you, you think it's about you, like you're driving in your car, somebody cuts you off and you take it personal and you're like, oh my God, this person, you know, is so annoying. Like they hate me or, you know, how could they do that? How could they cut me off? You know, like we do that all the time. That's projection. You know, that's like taking that on as your own like this had nothing to do with you that person's just an asshole or that person just doesn't know how to drive or that person just doesn't give a give about give can't give a shit i'm trying not to swear as much but this person just doesn't give a crap about you know other people on the road so it's always it's them it's like it's their their problem and you don't take it personally and it could be something little like that or it could be bigger things like your coworkers, your friends your partner your your family members triggering you and making you think it's about you and it's really not so you need to connect with this higher higher energy to not be to not take things personal so much and recognize that people project and that you project as well and where do you project so what else does pile three need to know right now what is an urgent message that you have for pile three that's too many cards but we do have the Ten of Cups, I saw. So there's some sort of like ultimate happiness here, fulfillment. What does pile three need to know? We have the Emperor with structure. So maybe you're dealing with a divine masculine, maybe you're dealing with a boss or um, a masculine figure in your life that is triggering you a lot. Uh, maybe you're the masculine figure that's being triggered or triggering the other person. We also have the Knight of Cups, romance. So this could definitely be like a romantic situation, a partner where, um, yeah, there's just being, there's a lot of projection going on, a lot of triggers. And then we also have the Ten of Pentacles with wealth. So this could be either work, like a work situation, um, and somebody who's in a position of authority or like a higher rank than you or um like a father or an older male it could just be a masculine energy this is aries energy uh somebody who's very organized and <laughs> structured and mature right um and then we also have the knight of cups with romance so this could be somebody who you're romantically involved with or attracted to and uh, it could be somebody that you're in a long-term relationship with, with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, it could be somebody that you're married to. It could This could be your husband, or you could be the husband. Um, this could be your divine masculine, so it could be like a soulmate. But anyway, it seems like you have a long-term commitment to this person or situation or place. Um, and it could, it, it maybe it affects your wealth. So that's why I said it could be work-related, um, so like your job. And uh, you've been there a long time. You're planned to be there a long time. And it's, you're being triggered by by things. Maybe you're not getting what you want and you think it's about you. Uh, you're disconnected from spirit and it's bringing you more into this lower vibration. But with the Knight of Cups here with romance, I am getting strongly that this could be a partnership that you have and that you're in that uh, is something more serious and it's maybe been triggering you. Yeah, and grief. So maybe maybe there was like some fight and um, there's sadness. There's disappointment here. Okay, let's see what else. What else does pile three need to know? <coughs> what does pile three need to know right now? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Maybe there was like a fight or an ending and you took it personally. Um, you feel left out in the cold. Maybe you got fired or maybe you lost, um, maybe like you lost some money. If this is work related, uh, you could have been maybe treated unfairly, right? By your boss or something your manager, or maybe you, there was some loss in money or loss in hours of work and uh, you feel like there's not enough to go around or you, you don't have as much as you used to and you're taking it very personally and it's really affecting you. Um,
yeah, and it's caused a lot of grief. It's caused a lot of sadness. There's been a loss of some sort. And if this has to do with a relationship, then maybe there was a fight. Maybe it made you feel left out in the cold. Maybe there was a breakup or an ending or something like that. But um, I see something where there was like some feeling of like feeling neglected or abandoned or left or ghosted or something like that. And where, where at one point you maybe this could be a person from work as well that you're involved with. Or if not, like this could be just someone that you did have like a committed relationship with. And now you kind of feel alone and abandoned for some reason. And you're taking it personally. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There could have been a painful ending here. And you've been going through a lot of pain and grief and cr and crying and processing this whole thing. Um, so the universe wants you to... Okay, so what do you want them to know about this? What do you want Pile 3 to know about this situation? The sun. There's going to be happiness here. There's gonna, You're going to find your strength again. You're going to find a happier day. You're going to find... it's Everything's going to be fine. I know this sounds so general, but everything is going to be okay. You are going to be revitalized. You're going to have happiness. The sun will come out. Yeah, there's definitely... like We have all the fives almost. Five of cups, five of pentacles, five of swords. There's been a change. There's been a change here in um a relationship or a work situation a major change it's caused a lot of anxiety maybe for you and the other person or the other party and just a fight too there could have been just like betrayal or an argument conflict some sort of drama jealousy competition something like that where i just saw the lovers at the bottom so this could definitely be with like a partner and um yeah so what do you want them to know Oh my God. Okay. So just, can we know what you want them to know? Because all I keep seeing is like, what's happening? The four of cups. So there was a rejection here. There was somebody offered their cup of love and the other person denied it. Or um, somebody offered some, or, or maybe you didn't notice. Maybe you were looking at things from a negative perspective because you were projecting, right? So maybe somebody was, was being loving towards you and romantic and trying to offer their cup of love like this dude over here. But maybe like your own insecurities, your fears of abandonment, your fears of whatever, um, caused this ending because you weren't seeing that. Like you weren't seeing that this person is trying to offer you something good and like a cup of love. You were focusing on the, the negatives, like the things that they're not giving you and not focusing on the goodness that is between, that is here in the situation. And this has caused a fight. But I do see a lot of healing here and a lot of like, there's going to be a retribution. Is that the word? Um, I don't know, like a re, like a rebirth, I guess, like a new energy here. So what do you want Pile 3 to know about the situation? What do you want them to know right now? Okay, we have the Empress and the Three of Wands. So what you need to do right now um, regarding the situation that you have, that has really affected you, triggered you, hurt you, um, maybe you're in your head a lot overthinking it, like what you need to do is to be in your receiving energy and your surrendered energy and you don't have to do much, basically. All you have to do is align your energy. Um, you don't have to take action, you don't have to, like, I, I'm not sensing that you have to go out there and contact this person or talk to this person or like there's not really much physical action that you need to take because there's like this waiting energy like waiting for your ship to come in you know with the empress like receiving waiting to receive your abundance there is abundance coming there is your manifestation is coming so if you are trying to um you know make this work like work this situation out and have this sun have this like happy ending then i feel all you need to do is to allow this to happen allow this to expand on its own allow this to unfold naturally as you figure out what what it is that you're taking personal what's projection what's not what's true what's not what's ego what's not what's you know just just really like self-reflecting and um getting into the empress energy getting into your divine oh my god look we have the emperor and the empress okay so this could definitely be a relationship like this could definitely be you know that won't that's for most of you it's not for all of you so take what resonates but 
this seems to be like a, an actual relationship it could be like a soulmate relationship the emperor and the empress a twin flame relationship and um there's maybe like a, some sort of a breakup or separation but i just feel like you need to um sort of just be more in this receptive and waiting and surrendered energy passive more passive uh feminine energy the divine feminine so it's trusting in this connection trusting um the universe trusting that you know you are going to get what you want the the empress attracts to her whatever it is that she wants because of her high magnetic beautiful radiant vibration so whatever it is that you need to do to get there is what you need to do in order to resolve this conflict here and this person or this institution or whatever this is um will come will come towards you like they will because i see long-term potential here with the ten of pentacles i see that this is meant to be something stable and solid right there's love here there's um stability there's security there's commitment there's maturity you know it's not wishy-washy so and there's also love and romance so this is meant to work out this can work out this was just a fight and whatever happened happened but there's potential here for like ultimate happiness together or with this like place whatever and um you just need to wait patiently for for this to expand and evolve and wait for your ship to come in like wait for it to come to you um as you surrender and you accept the situation for what it is and you work on yourself and you get into that like self-love like self-love self-compassion understanding um co-creation with spirit manifestation energy right like manifest what it is that you want connect with your higher self connect with the universe and trust and then we have judgment at the bottom so judgment is um there's a second chance here so there is going to be a second opportunity a second chance at this um but it's going to happen in divine timing it's going to happen on the universe's timing it's going to, the universe is going to make that call of when it's the right time uh, because the universe knows all and our little human selves don't so you need to that's where you need to surrender and just trust in the order and in the timing um there will be a rebirth here and where you are leaving the past behind, you are leaving the negativity behind, and you're starting anew in this higher vibration. Um, okay, so I just want to pull one more card to see. What, what do you want Pile 3 to do? What else? Is there any other message that you have for Pile 3? Okay, so you need to be in your most um, confident, independent, vibrant, magnetic, radiant, best self energy. Okay, that's where you need to go, whatever that requires. Um, there is going to be a reconciliation here. You guys are going to work together as a team. There's collaboration here with the Three of Pentacles. Physically, like I think you guys are going to physically reunite and um come together and work things out uh and your energy is just super attractive and this is going to attract abundance to you also maybe focus on work this there's a lot of work energy here so this could very well be a situation that you have at work with a person or just a professional situation um whatever it is or maybe you guys have like uh a home you share like this is your husband or wife or your girlfriend boyfriend where like you guys have a life together right it's physical though tangible um so yeah like also focus on work focus on building your wealth focus on your your things you know building your stability within your own life and um that will attract this person to you yeah there's gonna be communication here with the eight of wands at the bottom there was maybe a heartbreak here and a lot of just like confusion of what's going on but this person's committed uh or this place is committed and they want you and they find you very attractive and um they do want like a new beginning with you they want a second chance with you and they want to work through things with the three of pentacles most importantly they want to work through the drama they want to work through the problems because they see your worth they re really definitely see your worth with the empress and the nine of pentacles they see you as 
everything as as perfection as as their everything you know or if it's not like a romantic thing then they see you as an everything like type of worker uh where you provide a lot you give a lot you know and so this yeah this person definitely sees you puts you on a pedestal the three pentacles is about putting people on a pedestal so um they view you in a very high light a very positive light and maybe you need to know that like maybe that's not something that you think that th this person feels but they see you as the sun as so shiny as so bright as a light in their life um so yeah it's i feel like things are going to change and shift here so what else does pile three need to know time for adventure turn waiting into living be spontaneous try new things if not now when I am the source of my joy. I create my happy ever after. I honor my intuition. I trust myself. There's a lot of energy here about focusing on you regaining your strength, regaining your energy and living for you. So while you're waiting for this person or this thing to change, I think what you need to focus on is your own happiness, recognizing that you can generate happiness from within. You need to focus on things that make you happy. If it's work, if it's your passion, if it's nature, if it's traveling, um, there's a time for an adventure. So maybe like go on an adventure, um, live your life, go out there and live your life to to the fullest doesn't matter if you're doing it alone or not like just bring whatever bring your friends with you if you need to do it alone if you need to you don't need to wait on this person you don't need to wait for this institution to be ready for you you need to just live your life okay that's the empress like just do your thing and that energy in itself you being the source of your own joy and you just following your soul like that energy is manifestation energy that is what manifests things that's what attracts the things that you want to you that are meant to be for you to you you are focusing on you you're not thinking about the situation you're not overthinking it you're not getting lost in it you're doing your thing you're living your life Yeah, get out there and like try new things. Be spontaneous. Um, what else does Pile 3 need to know? Final messages for Pile 3. We have your love life is improving and it is safe to move on. Okay, so, and we have, you deserve so much love. Do not settle for anyone who doesn't see your worth. Yes, exactly. It's like, I feel like, I don't even know. Maybe I feel like you don't see your own worth and you're settling and you're allowing things to happen that you don't deserve because you don't think you're worthy of it. Like you don't think you're worthy of love. So you're not recognizing this person giving you love. So like where this Knight of Cups is coming at you with romance and this this cup is being offered to you, it's almost like you're not seeing this cup because you're not confident in yourself to be like, oh, I deserve this, you know? Like you don't see that you're the light. You don't see that you're the sun. You don't see that you're so amazing. And I think that's what the universe wants to remind you of. It's like you are amazing and um whoever doesn't see that you know isn't meant to be in your life but i think also you have to see that as well you know and your love life is improving so if this is a love situation then this is going to improve this is going to get better you just need to know your own worth you need to know your own worth so that you don't put up with bullshit you don't you don't allow these fights and not only you don't allow it from the other person but like i said you need to be very self-aware and see where you are bringing your own inadequacy you know feelings of inadequacy like with the five of pentacles into the situation and projecting it onto the person and being like like you don't think that you're good enough so so or you don't think that this person loves you because you don't think you're lovable so you're seeing them through the lens of they don't love me so then at anything that they do you're gonna interpret it from that perspective and then of course you're gonna be assuming that they're shady or whatever because that's the lens you're looking at so like you need to really tune into yourself and see what is going on for you and then it's safe to move on like it is safe to move on from worrying about the situation it's safe to move on from obsessing over it and and just let it go just let it go just let it happen let it unfold naturally let it do its thing and do whatever it needs to do and uh happen on its own time and in the meantime you go live your life but just know and have trust and faith that your love life is improving um, this is obviously for those of you who this is love related. If it's professional, like then your professional life is improving. Your work life is improving. Like your life is improving. 
the situation is improving. Let's get a final card from here. What does pile, this is for, yeah, what does pile three need to know? Any final message? Oh my God, didn't I say that? Let it, uh, this is, this is so weird. Um, when I said let it unfold naturally, I literally was thinking of this deck, this card in this deck, and that's why I decided to pick it up and pull a card, and then that card came out. So cool. So let it unfold naturally. Let this situation happen on its own terms, in its own time, unfolding naturally. Try, stop trying to control it. Stop trying to force things to happen. Let it just happen. And also we have accept your partner at the bottom. So maybe there are some things that you need to accept about your partner that you are having trouble with, you know? And again, coming back to like, what is based in your own like expectations or standards or thing like how are you putting this person on a pedestal right maybe you're unreal you're unrealistically putting this person on a pedestal and being like well this is how it needs to be this is how it should be well this is my ex did this my ex didn't do this like i don't like how are you not surrendering because we said we have as soon as you surrender so things are going to change as soon as you surrender in this situation let it go stop trying to control it and mold this person to be who you want them to be and just accept who they are and trust that they are right for you obviously if you feel they're right for you um and love them just love them for who they are and ironically things are going to shift they're, they are going to start giving you the love that you want and need and meeting your needs ironically the moment that you don't need it anymore and the moment that you don't expect it from them and you don't like um like demand it from them you know that's manifestation like you ask the universe like this is what i really want i want this person to do this you know i want them to treat me this way and if this person is right for you if they're truly your soulmate and they're meant for you then you're going to be able to manifest for this person to treat you a certain way without having to demand it from them this is where you get into your empress energy of manifestation of creating without doing creating by aligning your energy by asking the universe and surrendering and 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 you know like being like this is what i want and and if you don't get it, that's because then maybe this person's out of alignment with you and this isn't right right now or it's not meant for you. But if it is happening, like just try it. And if it does start to manifest, then you will see that this person is meant for you. You just need to be in that more receptive, div like divine feminine energy, you know, and so that you can manifest things because you're projecting a lot of fears and you're overthinking a lot of things. And that's that's impacting this. This is impacting this connection. Um, again, projection twice and this overthinking obsessive energy, get out of your head. And this person is the one. Okay. So this person is the one. Um, and I think they will reach out soon because you guys are on the same wavelength, but it's not the right time right now, right now. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, so that is your message pile three. I hope that that resonated and it was helpful. Um, I wish you the best with this situation and I'd love to know how it resonated in the comments below. Also, please give this a like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.